Hello there. Um, I've done a few videos before on the uh, the Nikon series of uh, flash guns from the 1980s, uh, maybe early 90s. Uh, I thought I'd go a little bit more in depth into the um, the wired TTL flash system that was uh, their system back in the day. Um, it basically relies on cables, so. Um, they are fairly easily available so uh, it shouldn't be much of an issue to uh, to set up a little system if you if you feel that that way inclined as, as I did so um, we start off with the uh, the uh, I would call it the standard hot shoe foot uh, that's the FE2 uh, FG uh, FA and possibly the FM3 uh, TTL cameras so these work with the, uh, the three pins plus the actual uh, contact in the centre there so it's just a, what would be described as a, a standard hot shoe as opposed to the uh, the weird one that they fitted to the uh, F3 series of cameras which I'll, I'll do another video on those but it, it is essentially the same wired system and it is interchangeable to a degree you can actually wire F3 flash guns into the standard hot shoe system using wires because uh, those flash guns have uh, a TTL attachment actually built into the body of the flash guns and you can also add uh, standard hot shoe flash guns into the F3 system it's, it's pretty much interchangeable the only thing that you can't do uh, is use um, an F3 gun on a, a standard hot shoe camera uh, you can get an adapter to do that but you will lose the TTL um, system on it on it It'll just give the uh, the ready light essentially and you can do the same with the standard hot shoes on the F3 system cameras uh, once again you will lose the TTL on that so the first thing that you want to do is um, get the flash gun off the camera uh, we all know about red eye and nasty shadows so you need to get yourself a Nikon SC17 cord which looks something like this and it looks something like this because this is actually a Nikon SC17. Um, now this I bought this originally back in the 80s so um, I just kept it uh, basically because I couldn't trade it nobody wanted it when I uh, went digital so this is I used to use this on my FE2 so it's a t full TTL uh, what you would do is obviously put that on your camera and then your flash gun will go in there and you get the connection for the TTL now on the the actual fitting there's a plug on either side where you can wire in using the uh, Nikon cords now there's there's two cords for this um, there's the, uh, get these numbers right because there's lots of SC's AS's, SB's and whatnot. not but, um, this, this one, this is the short one which is one and a half metres long and it's the SC18 so that would just go into there now there's three pins in the actual plug and there's a little notch on the wire you just have to line those up and it pushes in it's quite easy to do it's easier than doing it through a camera uh, a little camera lens and then that just screws into place should screw into place there you go it's going in there and then that is quite solid you can then wire another gun into that you can either if you were using say like I've got here uh, a Nikon F3 that's an SB17 you could wire that directly into the bottom of that flash gun and then you'd have two flashes if you're using uh, standard hot shoe uh, flash guns you would need one of these little gizmos and that is an AS10 now there's three sockets on that so you can plug that into there 
once again it screws into place and then you can put another gun on there you can also wire off and put another gun on wire off put another gun on I think the maximum amount of guns you can use in this system is five don't quote me on that I'm not 100% and um, I think the maximum cable distance is 30 meters so that that is quite a long you know a long length of wiring now I've got another uh, cable here if I move that aside all that grey spaghetti aside with the flashes attached this is the the longer SC19 now this is three meters long as you can see it is quite a significant length of cable it's uh, it's all knotted up just to uh, help things along but it's three meters long and that's about nine feet so as you can see with all of that it is quite uh, quite a mess but when it's all stretched out it is quite easy to use I have used um, a couple of flash guns together and it does work okay it's it's all TTL controlled as well by the the camera system so uh, there you go hopefully that's uh, helped you out a little bit you can also before I go uh, there's a small socket on the bottom of this this is the SB7 uh, 15 if I didn't mention it before you can also put a, a standard if I can get that little bong out there we go a standard uh, X sync cable into that onto the, the camera body um, Nikon do a couple of cables and once again I'm reading from the actual instruction manual one is an SC11 uh, which is 25 centimeters long and there's an SC15 which is one meter long now obviously you don't get TTL with that it's just uh, you know the flash is just fire either manually or, or on the auto settings but uh, if you've got a, a flash meter it shouldn't be a problem to use that but I, I've never used those I'll just use a TTL system okay hope that's been of help okay bye bye